many of us have heard of type 1 diabetes or know somebody that's affected, and that's certainly the case for driver Miguel Paluto. The last time the trucks visited here back in July, Miguel made a visit to the University of Iowa where they're building a new diabetes research center. And the visit really hit home with Miguel, who has type 1 diabetes, and so does his two-year-old son, Oliver. Take a look. We are here at the Fraternal Order of Eagles Diabetes Research Center, where they uh, donate 25 million all towards research to, to all, all kinds of diabetes. The FOE, or Fraternal Order of Eagles, if I will, we were embarking upon different charities that we could continue to support. Diabetes is one of the ones that affects most of our members nationwide, so, and that's what brought us to this effort here in the collaboration with the University of Iowa, number one in a partnership or agreement, where we would fund the research part of it and they would fund the bricks and mortar of a new facility. I'm really thrilled to be here at the University of Iowa to head the Fraternal Order of Eagles Diabetes Research Center. It's a real honor and privilege. And again, I want to express to the Eagles how grateful we are for your commitment and your support for this amazing investment that you're making here. As of this year in, in America, roughly one in seven or eight people are diabetic. Roughly one in three are at high risk of becoming diabetic. Diabetes isn't just simply having a high blood sugar. What really causes the problems over time, especially as we have gotten better at controlling the blood sugar, are, what are the complications. So diabetes is a leading cause of blindness, it's a leading cause of kidney failure and dialysis. It's a major cause of heart attacks and strokes. And if we don't do anything about it, um, in the next 20 or 30 years, probably 30 or 40 percent of the population will be diabetic. So this is, this is huge. I mean, this is something that's going to change medicine. It's going to change society in many ways. It means a lot because uh, when you talk uh, about diabetes, I'm living with it, my son is living with it, but we were able to see here is amazing. We talk about the cure, we talk about the long term of the disease in, in your body, what it, it can do, so they are studying all kinds of things. I'm happy that uh, I think the studies is a lot further than, than I thought, so I never, never was able to visit something like that. I'm pretty sure uh, we'll find the cure and we we'll find some better ways to, to treat the disease as well in the long term. Miguel lending his time for a great cause. Let's shed some light on his numbers. In 65 starts, he's nabbed 23 top 10s and two poles. He's still looking for that first win, but he's found consistency nabbing six top 10s in his last eight races. Hermie has more with Miguel. Well, Miguel Paluto, obviously a setback for your team in practice yesterday. Throttle hungs, tears up your primary truck. First laps on the racetrack was qualifying. Tough position for the driver to be in. But what are your chances today? Can you overcome this hole your team is in today? I think so. I think so. We talked a lot yesterday and, uh, you know, I was super tight. And a 30, I ran a 30, I think, for letting off turn four. wasn't a bad lap. So uh, we were going to throw it up for the race, and I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to do the right adjustments, and we have a truck able for, for a top 10 or a top 5. That's Miguel Paluto. He's going to start. 20th in a bag up truck. He's trying to dig his team out of this hole, but a great attitude by Miguel and his team. Look forward to them to make up some ground today. 